Hello Virgo Risings, my love. Welcome to RX Tarot and Astrology. This is your personal tarot reading for the full moon lunar eclipse in Pisces. My name is Riley X and I am a professional astrologer who helps my clients embody their personal astrology. You can get coaching with me or book a tarot, astrology, or human design reading at rxtarot.com. So Virgo Risings, First and foremost, this full moon lunar eclipse is going to be hitting your seventh house. This is really important for the sheer fact that it's time for you to release those burdens and those energies around bad relationships. Let's let it go. <laughs> so let's check in what spirit has to say. What do you need to hear about this full moon lunar eclipse in Pisces? almost close that out back of the deck energy is already a really great sign we have the six of wands there's a victory here for you my love you are about to climb a mountain that i don't know if you knew you could actually climb there's a victory here which means a couple of things either you finally get over that old heartbreak or and more likely you make room for something new we've got the stars which is all about hope it's all about feeling good and feeling hopeful for the future. And then we also have the fool. There's this new beginning starting for you. There's an energy here of finally being able to start a new chapter. This is doubled by the fact that the world also came out. The world in this deck is so cute. Oops. The world in this deck is so cute because she's like, exploring new york city and maybe she's never been there before or maybe she's been able to like really make it her home and she's sort of in her own world and she's glowing she's having the best time of her life regardless of what else is going on around her because remember the world is all, all about endings and new beginnings so what happened in your past is a part of your story but it's time to start fresh it's time to begin again with the fool i love that so much so what else do we have going on here? Again, like I said, there's definitely an energy of focusing on the seventh house. The seventh house is all about close personal relationships and a need to really release, um, release the view you've had on yourself because of these relationships, release the ties on your heart. Um, I love the cards that came out here with the eight of pentacles. With the Eight of Pentacles here, there is this feeling of cultivating and becoming the apprentice of your own heart, finding a way to really connect in and hone in on your craft. Venus rules the seventh house. So it's that Libra energy, right? It's that feeling of needing to connect with others. But for you, it's almost about cultivating a sense of love again in a new way. How do you feel maybe more self-love than you've ever felt? How do you allow yourself to really see that you're no longer in the cold? Stop neglecting yourself. Stop neglecting yourself based off of what old lovers have said or current lovers that are maybe not understanding you, not necessarily that they're toxic lovers, but are you loving yourself enough? Are you caring about yourself or are you continually trying to pour your cup into others to prove your worth? That's my question to you. <laughs> the nine of wands is here. So I think for some of you, there is going to be this feeling of, are we ever going to make it? Are we ever going to make it to the end? Are we ever going to make it to that happily ever after? There's sort of this feeling of wanting to give it one more go, wanting to give it one more push. And if that's the case, the queen of cups is also here. Really having this energy of make sure you're being compassionate with yourself more than anyone else. Make sure you're tapping in with yourself. Does this feel good to me? Does the relationship that I'm in feel good to me? Am I in this place where I'm feeling honored and loved by this person? Or do I feel like I have to constantly 
fill my own cup and then pour into them and then I just keep getting exhausted? Is there ever a time where we come together and I truly feel nurtured and loved? Even the Queen of Cups, excuse me, <clears throat> even the Queen of Cups is sitting here crying to her man. She's like, I'm just feeling very emotional and I'm just, I need to talk about it. And he's like, it's okay, babe. I get it. Emotions are valid. Is that you? <laughs> so there's definitely going to be this energy of needing to take a step back and really connect into what is feeling good to you. Don't judge your relationship based off of what other people are telling you to do. During this time, the lunar eclipse in Pisces is going to make you release things that are not supporting you, things that are not good for you. So if you're a Virgo rising and you're having a tough time, uh, rough time in your relationships, things can shift and they likely will shift for you. Um, the things that you thought were forever and the things that you thought had to be a certain way can shift. And the things that are not working can shift as well. So connect in, really tap into yourself, but this energy is going to ask you to connect into either the current lover that you have or just releasing the negativity of past lovers. So let that go. Cultivate that love for yourself. Remember that it's time to start fresh. It's time to start over for you. That doesn't necessarily mean you have to leave a relationship if you're in one. If you're in a toxic one, please leave the relationship. But if you're in a relationship that you love and it just doesn't quite feel right, start fresh. Start dating each other again. See what happens when you start to get to know each other. Because if you've been in a relationship long enough, I've been with my husband for 13 years. <laughs> every two and a half, maybe three years, definitely every four years, we have to re-meet each other. We have to acknowledge that we're two totally new people. Oh my gosh, who are you? Hi, nice to meet you again. We do this all of the time. We're actually in the process of doing it again right now because... We're both in our eighth house perfection years. There's a lot going on. So we're in this big shift of trying to understand who we are. And I think that's exactly what a lot of Virgo rising, risings are going to experience with their partners right now. You have to understand that the relationship isn't falling apart. If you want to continue, you can, but you have to start fresh again. You have to find that place of letting go of the way things were and rebalancing, finding what really works for both of you. So I hope this is helpful. Also, back of the deck was the Six of Wands. Right behind that, Seven of Pentacles. So the Six of Wands is all about victories. The Seven of Pentacles is about trusting the seeds that you're planting now, that they will grow eventually. This version of you may not get to see, and maybe this is the other way around, maybe this is the version of you that gets to see the fruit of your labors, of all of the energies, of trusting the path and trusting the growth. Now it's time to reap the rewards and reap the benefits of that. And the Nine of Cups. Emotional fulfillment, excitement, feeling honored, feeling held. You deserve that, my love. Wish fulfillment. I love it. I hope you liked this reading. If you did, could you leave it a like? Thank you so much. And if you wanna see my face again, you could subscribe. And if you want to work with me, you can book a reading or check out my coaching at rxtarot.com. Thank you. Bye.